Nowhere Studios. Hello and welcome to Monochroma on Indie Summer. This is an indie game. That's why it's on Indie Summer. And it's um, monochrome. No, I'm joking. It's not. There are three colors or lack of colors. Oh yeah, I need to restart this. I tested the game out, see if everything was working, and everything is working. So let's watch the intro. Little bird. Bird in the lighthouse. Looks at the sour house. So yeah, this game has three colors. Oh, our brother wants to play. Let's go follow him. Three colors. Or like I said, lack thereof. Because I, I don't I don't think black and white are colors. They're non-colors. I don't know. I don't understand art or colors or science. So one of them is just a lack of color. Anyway, <laughs> this is monochroma. It's a uh, I read it about it a little bit and they say it's a game with no dialogue at all, and it tells its whole story visually, which I think is a really cool concept. I, I feel that that's how it should be. Things should try telling a story without the need of words, especially since it is a visual medium like video games. They need to be able to do that sometimes. Anyway. So yeah, this is part of Indie Summer, which means I play one, about one hour of it, and then you guys decide if I continue playing it or not. And, um, uh, I don't just play the whole game, because that's not really the point of this, unless you guys really want me to. The whole point of Indie Summer is to show off some games that you might not have heard of or seen, and that you might want to play, and you just, you know, we're overwhelmed by the number of games coming out. So, you just missed it. So that's why I decided to, uh, do this to start with. It's just to give these games that usually don't get much of the spotlight, even though this one was a pretty big one. This one is one that people were talking about quite a bit. But, yeah, give the smaller games a little bit more of a spotlight. Ooh, little title drop there. Does it happen more than once? No, it doesn't. Okay. But, yeah. And games like this, they deserve to get little their time in the sun. And what better time to do that than the summer? Ha, I see what I did there. Oh, trees are cut. Environmentalist. Ugh. No, I can't take it. It's too too much environment. I don't like. It. Boom. Ah. <laughs> oh yes. I did it. I broke the game. Anyway, I was not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to fall in. Oh, now my brother's all sad. And now we're... What I gathered from playing it is that we're probably trying to get back home. I think that's what we're trying to do. I'm not sure. I won't say I know. Because I don't. Alright. First puzzle! So yeah. This does remind me and apparently a bunch of other people of Limbo. But mostly because of um, the fact that it's black and white. And I feel that it's unfair to just say that just because it's black. Oh, did I die? I just died. This is great. It's a great start. Very morbid. At least he has a red scarf, meaning if he bleeds, we won't see it. His little neck might break. No one's gonna feel it. Yeah. Anyway, that was that was morbid and horrifying. But yeah, I feel that it's unfair to call it a limbo-like 
game, even though it, it does have its puzzles, but so many times, this includes even my ideas, like, people have ideas, and other people are like, oh, you mean just like that? And you weren't even thinking about that. You didn't, maybe you didn't even know about what they're mentioning, but they still compare it to that. And, well, it, it's just a better thing to be like, yeah, sure, that's what it is. It's kind of annoying for the creators because they put a lot of time into it and they probably didn't even know about whatever it was that someone is mentioning about it. Well, I'm pretty sure that there's no way of not knowing Limbo, but... Uh, there we go. But yeah, it could be annoying. I don't know. Alright. Got up here. Jump. Okay. No, all the way down. All the way down. Pick him up. His younger brother is actually bigger than him, like, uh, wide-wise, wideness-wise, I don't know, width-wise, I think that's the better way of saying that. Oh no, I don't need to do that, I just, I can do this, right? Nope, I can't, I'm just being an idiot, I'm being an idiot. The, con the only thing I'm going to say about this game that I, I'm not really enjoying that much is that the controls aren't really snappy. Now this might be my computer, but the jump takes just one split second more than you would expect it to, and you jump a little bit late. That would be probably the only thing I would have to say about this that I don't like. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm, I'm enjoying. I like puzzle games. If you've seen my my limbo playthrough. You know that you know that I do enjoy these type of games very much. All right. There we go. Taking the brother up. You know this is nice. You know you're trying to help your brother. It's kind of cool. Ta-da! All right, first puzzle solved. Puzzle number two. Oh, days are getting darker. Just push this. So this is a wood factory. They make wood stuff. Pull it down. Pull it down. There we go. Alright. Let's keep on going. The coal can't hurt me. There we go, there we go. There we go. This is a really strong boy to just carry his brother around like this the whole time. I understand carrying him around a little bit, but all the time. Anyway, I'll keep on going the next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And, as always, I will see you next time.